Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Viking Warrior Gaming and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is the first SGI developer vlog that I'm going to be doing. So we'll be covering some of the basics. The very first thing that I'm going to be covering is this mod is not dead. I promise you it is not dead. We are still working on it. But first let's go over, before I get to uh, the developer log bit, Let's uh, just go over how you guys can get the most up-to-date version of uh, of SGI. So, first of all, you're going to want to go to uh, github.com. And you're going to want to create an account. I already have mine because, obviously, I work there. Ignore that. Um... So you're going to want to go to github.com and create an account. Once you've got your account, you're going to want us to go to uh, github.com forward slash Stargate Invasion forward slash SGI. The link will be in the description, so you can do it like that as well. But before you do that, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to go to, open a new tab, github.com. Uh, actually, no, you're not. You're going to want to go to Google. That's how you spell Google. That's also not what I want. Just Google. Just Google. Oh my god, I cannot spell today. Google. There we go. Uh, no, thank you. And you're going to want to go to uh, GitHub Desktop. And then you're going to go to GitHub Desktop. And you're going to download this. Or your uh, Mac OS version or as such and it will ultimately bring you to this. This is going to be the most useful bit for you. So once you've downloaded that and installed that it's perfectly fine trust me I've had it on my computer for freaking ages it's fine. A lot of people use it and a lot of developers of mods software and so on use it because it's easy. Once you've got that and you've logged in on there with your GitHub account, you're going to want to go to Stargate Invasion, the GitHub, and this will pretty much be the screen. Ignore the top bit. That This will pretty much be the screen that comes up. We have 26 people watching us right now, and this is just everything that sort of comes up, because we, we have the master branch, which is... Everything that uh, obviously you guys need to uh, play the mod. And there is a little installation form that uh, just opens this page. And it pretty much goes over what uh, I'm going over now. So if you want it in word form, it is there. That is not what I wanted to do. And then you're going to want to open GitHub Desktop. Mine is here, as you can see. And it brings up this. So I've already got an SGI repository on my uh, PC. As you can see, here it is, SGI. And there's all the stuff, and it's attached to GitHub. So every time I fetch Origin, new folder of files go in there. But to set this up, you're going to want to go to File, Clone Repository. That's it, in Clone Repository, and then URL. You don't need to worry about anything else. Just ignore the bit up until this point. So, to clarify, you open GitHub Desktop. You go File, Clone Repository, URL. You can do it via GitHub.com, and that uh, is the ones that you're part of. But if you don't have... Like, if you're not... Because, obviously, I am a developer for SGI, so I'm part of that on GitHub. Not everyone will be. And then you go to your web page over here, and click clone and download and you see this you click that button or you can just do select all and copy you then go over to URL or username and paste it in there you then click clone which I'm not going to do because that will go into my Steam games for a start you then click clone and you will end up having the repository with all of this lot in it. So this will be Galaxy, etc. Why is that StarCraft 2? I don't know. I ignore that. And you'll have all the things that you need to make the mod run. 
and it will also allow you to have a history of all changes that have been made in general or yeah in in its entirety since SGI was started on GitHub which was about a year ago now Jesus uh, obviously the latest fixes were for the new privacy policy update that uh, came from Stardock and Ironclad which obviously kind of broke everything uh, there's also been some uh, material stuff for the Hestia done by Dot, who is our modeler, well, one of our modelers and coder. And so there's all that. And then obviously every so often you just fetch Origin and then you will have the most up-to-date variant or version of SGI and it will come down into your SGI folder. And all you've got to do to enable it is you go into here, you copy that folder in its entirety. Uh, I'm going into the Mods Rebellion one because I, uh, or the dev version, because that's where I am. And then you simply paste. It will then do its thing. I'm not going to do that. And then enable mod text, add SGI, and boom. You then have access to the newest and most up-to-date version of SGI. You can, if you wish, set it so that it automatically comes into your mod folder, which would be this one, which is full of crap at the moment. Well, not crap. It's, for some reason, I have the final front end. You just ignore that. Mine goes into a separate folder because uh, my dev folder is on uh, my SSD, which is mostly full. And my um, the GitHub folder is on my hard drive. So, but yes, that is how you get the most up to date version of SGI. Now, this won't work with the mod DB variant, which is unfortunate. But there we go. We will update that at some point. So, if you're having trouble and you want to play the uh, the mod, then I have just explained to you how to do it relatively easily, I hope. And there you are. That is how you get the most up-to-date version of SGI. Now, as for the... Um, as for... Uh, what was I saying? Ah, yes. As for the uh, developer vlog part... Uh, like I said at the beginning, the mod is not dead. We have not finished it. We intend to keep working on it. And it will be completed. You don't have to worry that the mod is dead and that we've walked away and anything like that. Because we haven't. We, we do intend to continue working on SGI. And we will. But currently, uh, all team members, because there is only like, uh, we're like a four, five man team in total. That's just crashed. I was loading up sins to get a uh, few shots for you, but hey ho, that's just crashed. Um, we're only a small team of just a few people. And unfortunately, life being the way it is, has decided that we are also now uh, irreversibly busy. So we have all been uh, quite busy. I know uh, Ace, who is the team leader, has been quite busy with school. Uh, we have also had Dot, who has been busy with work, as has Jeff. I have recently moved house and been trying to focus a little bit more on my YouTube stuff and just... The past couple of weeks for me, at the very least, have been ridiculously busy. So, that is why stuff hasn't actually happened so much on the mod. Because all of us have been really, really busy. And we intend to fix that in the future. <coughs> Hopefully. I mean, um, Ace has just gone back to school again. So, well, I say school. He's in, like, uni for... Uni for British people, college for Canadian people, or whatever. I'm not entirely... It's confusing. 
But um, out of all f like four of us, I'm probably the one with the most time. So I will try to uh, dedicate at least maybe an hour a week or so to SGI coding and such. Because, well, it needs to be done. And the longer I put it off, the longer it's going to take. And uh, that's not right. Intriguing. <laughs> um, hang on. Are you utilizing? No, you're not using team colors. So that's very bizarre. That shouldn't be like that. Okay. But yes, we we will be carrying on with this. I can promise you that. That is incredibly bizarre. Ah, show mesh team colors. Go away. There we go. That's better. So, yes, things that are still being worked on, obviously, textures. Uh, the Tauri are still ridiculously overpowered. Uh, as you can see, they have Asgard beam weapons as uh, abilities now on the BC-304 at the very least. Uh, I intend to do that with all of the um, capital ships as well. They will have... That's more accurate. That's textured now rather than bright fucking pink. Uh, the capital ships will also all have uh, Asgard beam weapons as their... Hang on, let's... It's control shift... That one, there we go. Let's just set up quick play. Boom, and then uh, our home planet. Uh, no, no, that one. Our home planet. Uh, auto place structures, make sure that's on because I'm lazy. There we go. So. Now, all of these ships, I do believe, have uh, uh, beam weapons. That has beam weapons. That has beam weapons. And uh, all of these ships, the capital ships for the Dowry, have beam weapons. So let us see just what uh, a bunch of beam weapons will do to a go old opponent. Now, all of these are as beam weapons, not as abilities. There's a big difference. Abilities obviously means that they cost antimatter and they normally have a cooldown. You can do that with weapons, but I felt with the beam weapons you wanted a bit more micromanaging to focus down a titan or something as like that come on okay so our fleet of capital ships has arrived and now we get to see fun missiles being launched and dead As you can see, they tend to, uh, holy crap, that's loud. They, a small fleet like this, a fully upgraded full fleet of tier one capital vessels can absolutely rip through anything before their shields even get penetrated because of the beam weapons are so damn powerful. Now, uh, one of these does have a missile system set up. I believe it is the Besieger, the Excalibur, and I believe also the Concordia has it. Aha, here is the Homeworld Command. That is really, really loud. Sweet Jesus. Uh, 
but yes. Hold on, Jesus Christ. That is loud. No wonder. I should be down there. Crikey almighty. So yeah, these guys, uh, they have plasma beams or plasma weapons, but that's about it. Uh, these guys with their beam weapons, even though the beam weapons have been massively debuffed, why the frack are you spinning? Uh, okay, that's something that I need to fix. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that happened. That shouldn't have done that. But obviously, they can just keep firing beam weapons. Even though I have massively debuffed them in the amount of damage they do and their cooldown, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to stop them. Because you get a bunch of ships with these beam weapons and you are going to mint anything. They are absolutely brilliant at destroying titans in very, very short amounts of time. And obviously none of my ships have had their shields penetrated yet, as I believe. Nope, none of the ships have had their shields penetrated, so... I don't know, that, that's not ideal. That is something that I need to fix. That is on me, because it is, uh... It is a coding problem that needs to be sorted out. So all of these guys will be getting uh, a slight debuff, I suppose, in terms of they won't have beam weapons. They might have an additional railgun or missile battery or such, but their beam weapons will be changed to an ability as opposed to a actual weapon, because otherwise the Tauri are beyond overpowered. As is evident by one of the streams that I did with a couple of the devs from... There you go. From um, SGI which we did with uh, Goal Survives and such, and it was uh, the release of the Gabauld. We did it with uh, Schism Navigator for uh, Stardock when we released the Gabauld, and uh, Ace, being the dick he was, just spammed BC-304s with beam weapons and absolutely obliterated everything, because that is what Ace does. Ace is a dick like that. So, he deserves a debuff, as did my Shutak, which uh, ultimately ended up with over 102% shield mitigation, meaning that his shields were impervious to any damage. <laughs> so, that I believe has been lowered, I, I'm not certain, but I think it's only about 60% max now. So, yeah. But the gold are still nowhere near close to finished. They need a lot of work in the balancing side of things. But as I'm the only coder who's a full-time coder, it's going to take a while. But I hope this has cleared some things up for you guys. And this has definitely told you that this mod is not dead. I promise you it is not. We are still going to be working on it. It's just been slowed down a lot recently due to real life stuff. So, this will be the first dev vlog, and I will be doing more, because I want to do more, and I want to keep you guys up to date with what's going on. So, if you want to see more dev vlogs, make sure to subscribe so that uh, you get notified of them when they're released. Uh, I don't know how often I'll be doing them, possibly once a month. It depends how much we get done on SGI, really. So... Thank you all for watching, and I hope this has cleared everything up for you. This mod is not dead. So I will see you all in the next episode or the next series. Thank you. Tara.